What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be on my new JB case. I ordered this JB case from Sabre and I ordered the 3x6 meaning that it'll hold 3 butts and 6 shafts. This is a red and black. The red is the accent. Comes with the 3 pockets on the top. So this one's a small pocket. Then you got a medium sized pocket. And then this is the huge pocket on the bottom. And this is how the inside looks like and how you'll be stacking your, your cues in there. I also got this with the single strap versus the backpack style since um, I'll be driving to the pool halls now. I don't have to worry about carrying my, my cases on my back. So it will just be in my car and then throw it one one strap and you're good to go. also have the ring that holds the towel. So let's find out what I put inside my case. With my new case, I got some new equipment to put inside. So you always see me use my Predator uh, Q before. Now I updated it. I put in an aluminum pin. So this is how it looks like. Oh, so as you can see, I bored it and actually shoved the pin a little bit in deeper. That way it has a little, a little bit for expansion. You can, for the vib um, less vibration. And this is also epoxied. And I put, of course, my signature on it and epoxy it and ca it this is the shaft i'll be playing with this is a, a revo 12.4 with a white full plate my backup shaft of course is going to be the um, a wood shaft this is a 314 third generation and my brake cue it got the qtech breach i updated the tip upgraded it to a g10 so I took the old tip up, it was a Tom's, and I put a G10 on it. I like G10s a lot better than anything else. For the jump cue, I got the Propel from Q-Tech. I left the tip by itself for the Tom's. This is a, the original tip for it. And my other jump cue is a Jacoby, but I got the Purple Heart with a G10 furl combo with the tip. You gotta always have to have the extension. This is what I use for my extension. And you always have to have additional bridge. I ordered this. This is a new Q holder. This is supposed to be 3D printed. I also got this from Sabre. So this is supposed to hold your Q and on the tables. That way it doesn't get all dinged up. Of course, you got to have your joint protectors for all your cues. So these are all my joint protectors. You got to have always a chalk just in case the pool hall doesn't have any chalk. You got to have your own chalk. The case came with this, it comes with a sock. You can actually use it for your, your cues and then actually pull them out, it makes it a little bit faster. Predator had these before, I didn't like them. I don't like this either, so that's gonna be rubbish. And then, you saw this a little bit earlier, this is the Predator wipe to wipe down your cues. So let me go ahead, stack my cues inside the case and show you how it looks. One advantage the JB cases has against the other cases, it could actually stand on its own. It's one reason why I also bought it. I like the hard cases versus having a butterfly case, especially being in the States and I'm not traveling and using public transportation. So this is how I stack my cues. This is my plane cue. It'll just be on my right side of it. And then on my brake cue, I, got it, I took out the bumper and I added this for the bumper. So it's a little bit shorter so to compensate for the height, the JB cases come with these little foams. All I did was cut it and get it to length and shove it in there. As you can see, now it's about the same height as my Predator. I also did that for the jump cue. That way it's a lot easier for me to pull it out and it's faster. So it doesn't drop all the way in and it's right there. And then of course, you got your playing shafts and your brake shafts. So this is all my Q-Tech. And then my playing backup shaft. This one's my playing shaft. And this is my other brake. Not my brake, my uh, jump cue. The purple heart. So this is how it stacks up. It's all nice and neat, which I like. I got one extra shaft to put in there, but 
I'd rather have it a little bit lighter than having it super heavy. So, of course, now the jump handle just goes in there and it fits perfectly. And then you have your Q extension, your bridge, and then your chalk can go in there. Your used chalk, you can put it in here. This is where I'm gonna be putting my used chalk. And of course, your Q holder. So it has a lot of room and space for a lot of accessories, but I don't really need to plan bring all this accessories going to the pool hall. I just want it minimum. That way you go out and play pool. You're not messing around doing anything else. This is real handy, what I like the best about it. It has this little towel thing and it just goes like that. So this is my new JB case and this is what it comes with, what I'm gonna be playing with. And I really like it a lot. It's a really nice case. I just did a brief review on my JB case and what I put inside the case itself. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Hopefully this video was informative. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye bye. <laughs>